Hey, I'm Mara Gale, and I do what's called a drive-by for Christ. No, no need to duck. That just means I take the word of God, I fill up empty holes in people's soul, I fill it with love, joy, kindness, and peace, which is God's word. It is unchanged, and it remains the same. Now, I want to do a little something-something for you. This piece is called That's the Way That Love Grows. You want to know the way love grows? Well, you've got to give it out. You've got to let love go. Go do the thing it was created to do, because there's a calling on your life, and there's a purpose just for you. There are some experiences that you've learned from that only you know, and your job is to share them with the world. That's the way that love grows. So let's start with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help us God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Fast forward to man, man created in the image of God, meaning man should look like what? The Word, which was what? God. The Word being laws laid down as to how we live our life. Now it don't mean it's gonna be easy. You will have challenges and strife. But know that if Christ was persecuted and he's from up above, how much more will we be for accepting his love? But the word, the word, the word says, fear not. I have overcome this world. So even though you have difficult situations, you have a powerful weapon, which is your sword. So I want to know how much can you spare? If asked to give 50 cents or a dollar to someone in need, could you willingly and cheerfully plant that seed? If asked to be a sounding board for someone that's confused, could you sit patiently and allow the Holy Spirit to speak through you? If asked to talk to someone who really wanted to hear from you, would you make up all kinds of excuses about the things you needed to do? How much can you spare? It really doesn't cost that much to smile or compliment someone or share a sincere hug or touch because what you give to someone in need is a rare and invaluable seed. So keep planting it's at no cost to you and know that Jesus gave all he could and you should do the same too. You see, sometimes, sometimes I feel like my cup is so full, you can have a sip from my saucer. Ha, that's it. My cup really really is so full. Take a sip from my saucer. How about a splash of happiness, a dash of joy and cheer? You can search all around my cup and saucer, but you'll never find doubt or fear because those two illnesses can keep you bound without handcuffs or a jail cell. So keep your mind locked up in a place that's worse off than hell. So I challenge you to share love, give love to everyone you see, lift their spirits and create a smile they'll cherish till eternity. Now you may ask, who am I to ask you such a lofty goal? But check this, my name is not important. My job is to help you care for your soul. In the future, if you'd like to hear any of my spoken word or have me come out to share a drive-by for Christ at your church or at an organization or at a Black History Month program, give me a call. You can follow us on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook. You can go to our website and opt in for our newsletter or our blog. And you can also check us out on YouTube. Till next time, I hope you have a beyond blessed day. I sure am. Peace and blessings.